definitely feedback over there. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, now I'll just put myself on mute until I have a question. All right, do we have any questions on anything uh, before we get started? We're gonna work on Silent Tau today. Um, and we're gonna try to, it's a combination of uh, ideas and also looking at the motion and making sure you guys are doing the motion as best as possible. Cool. So, any questions on anything before we get started? All right, good. All right. You will come back. We're gonna jump, and we're not gonna we're not gonna dive into the first section like we normally do because we do spend time on that often. But we're gonna dive into the second section and make sure that motion is correct, and make sure uh, uh, if I if I can see what you're doing, then I'll make corrections to it. Okay. So obviously, obviously, when we get to the second section, the the, the general concept of the second section is two hands in every direction that you can imagine working in conjunction with each other, right? Uh, the movements are not application, but just the position of the most relaxed, uh, the relaxed state as far as applying, uh, as far as doing that motion, right? So if we look at, for example, gum sal, the gum sal is this, these two motions right away. We know why we don't do it at, this is the only motion within the uh, Silm Tao of the second section that's not applied at both hands at the same time because the double push down basically offsets your center of gravity, right? It basically launches you off and, and, uh, and adjusts you from that point on. So we do it singular when we do that. But the reason, you know, you don't, you, you know a lot of times you see gum saw applied on the, on the front or different ways to apply gum saw, arm bar and so forth like that. But we have gum saw here because like I said, this is the zero point of the technique. It's the most relaxed point where you can do that. Just like how we, um, what, what, what was that? Just like how we have certain techniques is like, why, why don't we do, uh, uh, if this motion right here is the development of pack punch, how come we do this motion as opposed to this motion as far as the, uh, for, for, uh, for the crossover motion, right? Because from here is the more, more, more relaxed position of the double hands crossing over as opposed to this hand motion right here. Right, so the zero point in terms of the overall form is the ultimate position to go from one extreme to another. And basically from that position, you can learn to adjust it from that point on, okay? So with gum sal, right? With gum sal from the side first. The, the common mistake for gum sal is even if I go like this, this looks like I went straight down. But the way to guide yourself is basically if you relax your arms down, let gravity take over, this is the position you want to be in. So here, if you put it in this position here, is where it gives you a, a, a guideline for where to be. A lot of times people go down, down, and they think they're actually exactly straight down. But here, if you relax it straight down, this is your guide for that, okay? Also, with the position two, the cupping motion, there's a cupping motion with it. Like if you see my hands are like this, but in actuality, just a, a hint motion this way to lock it in place. Because otherwise, if you look at my shoulders here, it's just kind of like going down, but this motion in locks the motion in. So if you imagine the ball, the ball's tilted maybe just a pinch, right? I'll exaggerate this direction to lock the position in place. And also with the motion itself, you want the motion itself, if you go down like this, that's you punching. See how I imagine how I punch? That's me punching like this, punch, punch. But instead, you want the motion to move back. And then from here, imagine your elbow pushing down, right? That's the, that's the motion you want. You don't want this motion, snap, which can happen, or snap, not even going perfect down. The elbow has to move back a little wind to build up the power and then guide the target straight down. And the same thing with the other side. Okay, that's, that's the path it is to, to make that smooth. Now, remember when... When you do that, when you do this motion, right? Since the emphasis is on one side, right? You're gonna have to use the other side to offset it. Otherwise, one, two, right? To, to over-exaggerate, one, two. So basically, you don't have to do that much as far as adjust it. You just have to feel your center of gravity. Just control enough to boom. See how I control my center? Boom, it's controlled, right? It's not locked in place. I just control, 
where I don't end up going one, two, right? I go one, two. And your natural motion will actually just adjust one, two. The down motion goes up, the down motion goes up, and then basically you, you don't have yourself offset in that motion. Okay? Can I ask a question, um, and maybe you're about to get to it, but um, with application, also a thought in there as well, being like a shoulder technique, is there any variant that we should or can do with it to develop the shoulder strike with it, or is it just all just the motion? Actually, the shoulder strike is in the next two motions, not in the gun saw motion, right? The hao jung is the forward shoulder, and the chin jung is the side shoulder. The gum solid does not involve the, the shoulder at all, actually. I, I just remembered uh, Si Gong doing a demonstration where someone grabbed him and he went sideways and struck. Yeah, but, that that was, but that's not gum solid. Looks like gum solid, but it's actually shoulder application. And that if you look at it, the reason we go from here, right? See, so notice we go one and then come back to two. It's inside. Because if it's outside, we don't hit. We step through him and inside, that's how we connect from that point on. So that's how it's actually chin jung motion. Now, it looks like gum sa. You can say it's a combo, like a, you're going down. Maybe he's grabbing, you can say you gum the motion down. But the actual application from here is actually chin jung motion, right? And sometimes you have that. You have a combination of techniques, right? The first two are just gum sa. Yeah, the first two are literally just gum sa. No shoulder involved at all, right? Okay. Application, you could say kind of like mixes and blends. Like if I go like this, and I, 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 I out circle from behind, and then gum saw this way, I'm combining bong saw motion with the gum saw motion as well. So there's no such thing as it's just isolated itself. It, it could have a, a, a different application to it. Remember, gum saw is a downward motion, but basically it's like pak saw. Pak saw side, gum saw down, pao saw up, right? <laughs> That's basically, that's basically the, the all angles that you're covering from that, from, from that point on, okay? okay? So when you do this, right, a little motion back, straight down, straight down, like that. Right. Now, look when, I, look when I do my motions, right? I want you to see when I do my motions, right? When I go like this, okay? See that motion? Okay? Now look, one, two. See the difference? The, I see there is a difference. I'm not sure what it is though. Well, the, the first one, I'm trying to emphasize the motion of power, right? It, it's a common thing that people do. They try to put power in the motion, but I don't, the second one when I did it, look, just going by go one, two, right? One, two. You can even, I don't know if you can catch the air. One. Two, right? As opposed to, see, I'm emphasizing that motion. Just naturally, one, two. And then you can see the motion is so much cleaner as opposed to thinking, okay, I got to make this powerful. Never think in terms of powerful. That, that build up stage where you build up that motion, think of it, you're doing a smooth motion to get to the target. So a lot of times when you're thinking target, think you're thinking down, right? Think down, so you smoothly to go down, down on both sides. Don't think in terms of power. Also, be careful with the fingers. When I do this, when I do this motion, when I go one, two, fingers are not, don't be open, right? It's closed. Just naturally closed, don't have it open. Right? Otherwise, you drag through that as well. So from this motion on, one, two. And if you feel that motion, you feel the full extend, Extend, push, 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 push. See? Then natural one. One, two, one, two, one, two. And then you see it from the side. One, two, right? One, two, right? Nice and smooth. Okay? You should feel the motion fully extend. Okay? Extend it full like you're extending the punch out. One, two. Good, that's better. Let's see, turn to the side guys a little.
Okay, Eric, you're mi you're missing that motion. If you if you watch a video of yourself doing it, you're like this, right? One, two, a little pullback. Just feel it. Build build up the power, and then push the power down. No, you can have it. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay, be careful now too. I see you going back, which is good. And then this motion is like this. Here, imagine yourself, push. Think of the elbow, Get, think of the elbow. Don't worry about the hand, right? Do you guys feel like the hand's like leading the grab motion? Don't have the, don't have the hand leading the grab motion, right? You wanna feel, same thing. You wanna feel here, elbow push. Here, elbow push, okay? Still okay, Eric. It's not fully straight. Watch. Yeah, see how that's straight, see? Straight. Now go like this. Do your motion again. And then from there, relax it and see where you end. And then relax. There. That's better. Yeah, Chris, that's butter. That looks butter. There. Got it. How's that feel? Does that feel butter? That feels good. Yeah. Were you doing all the little stuff to make that work? I think I was. I, I think the thing I maybe was doing poorly was what you were talking about. It's sometimes adding more to it than I've been working on trying to make it feel like the, the punch right where it just stops naturally. It seems to be more abrupt going down, but um, just trying to take the power out of it. Yeah, no, don't worry about the power. The power is in the unity and in the motion. Motion here. See, I don't care about the power. My path leads to the power, right? The smoother the path, the more power you can generate from that. Yeah, that's better, Eric. Yeah, I think that elbow thing, that was leading with the hands. Yeah, it, it, I mean, I, I, I can say it over and over again, but sometimes you forget mentally. It feels like, you know, the hands just feel naturally like to drop, but you got to think, drop the elbow. Think elbow dropping and pushing the hand. Yeah, like that, like that motion right there, that looks a lot better than what you were doing five minutes ago. That is the correct motion. Right there. Yeah, that's gum saw right there. Can you feel the difference or you notice that right away? You should, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, visually, you, I, I can see it right away. That's why I see it. It's like, okay, you, sh you should be able to distinguish How far that. out? You know, I know it's like down naturally, so it's yeah. kind of there. Is, yeah. there is, any, is there any outward to it or is it just straight down? Straight down, straight down. You're trying to think of, you know, like in the gymnast, right? Your daughter is in gymnastics, right? Is that the parallel bars? Do they do parallel bars for the uh, guys? Do for the guys only, right? So when they when they when they go up like this, they push themselves straight, straight down. They're not like off to the side. That's like if they do the the guys have the other ones, right? The rings, rings too, right? yeah. But but this one, imagine you're just pulling yourself push down on the parallel bars like this, straight down. You don't want to be off to the side like this. Straight down, one, two, straight down is exactly the motion you want. Okay. All right. So when, when we set up in the second session, um, yeah. I'm trying to remember here. Do you finish? Oh, yeah. So here, and then we pull back. Yeah. So if, if we're already going to be winding up by pulling back this way, should we start out? We shouldn't start off so. Um, the same spot when we go, when we go to EGTV mountain, right? We'd have a little bit less top. No, no, actually, most people, remember how I said, what does CTBL people have? People, you know, yell at you if you look like this. This is how most people are, right? And after you do one or uh, punch, boom, boom, you should be in this position. Most people end up like this. That's common, right? 
This is how most people end up when they do the second section of the silk towel. After you go one, two, boom. They, one, two, that's where you should be. But nine times out of 10 people are here. They end up relaxing that position and they start going from that point on. So is that why you're telling me, like, let's say I do pull it back far enough. Uh, let's say I go back yeah. here, right? I feel like that's kind of the spot. Well, for me, it feels like snug. So I really don't have to like make a big motion and it should just feel internal. You just need to feel that build up, build up the path to start the, the, that motion. Yes. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Right, all the motion in, in, in actuality, all, all of them are small as far as, like when you punch, right? When you punch, you're not, ah, punch, right? Punch, oh, build up, then explode, okay, right? It's not that big of a motion. You just gotta make the motion smooth so it leads to the path to the target, right? Don't forget to target when you do gum saw because people are just basically thinking down down, down, they're not even thinking to target down here, down here, and that's still target for you, okay? All right, so we, we got that as far as gum saw, everyone knows how to do it well? That looks much better, okay? So we get through that point, right? Make sure, don't be here to do your gum saw, right? It should be back here. Because people, you lose, you remember, you're in the stance, you're trying to maintain that center of gravity in place. You start losing it here. Most people end up losing it at this point. You actually forget the, the, the function of that, of, of that pull. So you end up starting here and you're like, either you end up going like this, or you wind up too much and go like this. But th here's the right spot, wind up, boom, down, down. See how smooth that is? Yeah, okay. It's in front of you, Donnell. You're still like this. I can see. Remember, the guide is here. It should be at your side, like this. If you re relax your hands like this, your gum saw should be here, not here. See how it's a little in front? Here, you relax. Gum, not here. That's a little off. That makes sense? The, that's straight down, but the path is not, the, your path is like this. One, two. See, the, see that motion? One, two. That would be like one, two. That's, that's like punching like this. So don't go one, two. One, elbow, think elbow. Don't worry about the hand. Elbow, push. Go slow, feel that first. Go back a little, and then think, don't think of the hand. Elbow push. Nope, still still snapping it. Move, move the elbow back a little. Feel the elbow pull back, build up the power, and then relax the arm, and then think the elbow to think the elbow to the target down and push. Yeah, like that. <laughs> That's elbow push. Can I share what I was looking at? I was practicing this for a couple of weeks. And what I, what I kind of came up with was, and I don't know if it's right or not, but the elbow when we're in this position is kind of uh, down. And the windup, it kind of sets it upward so it can push down. It has to, because right. you're on even ground, right? Because if you're holding the ceiling top position, you're parallel to the ground. Right. right? So like if it's you not in a position to push. Yeah, it's not a position. That would be like you doing wusao and your wusao is at this point, right? How can the elbow pull back when the, when the, when the elbow and the, and the wusao are in line? The elbow always has to be able to pull it. So that's why there's a, a, a gap between the two. So if this is in line together, there's no way you do it. This actually wind, uh, builds up from this point on and then pushes down. So yeah, right? when I was practicing that and I was practicing the, the sub G sao, same thing, the elbows have to come out to push down and this way it felt to me like it had to, the wind up was getting the elbow in that right position to push down. It couldn't push from here. It can only just bend. Yeah, right? So just remember that, okay? So each one of you, I saw it much, much better now. So just remember that if you don't do the, you gotta think of the build, when you build that motion up 
and then go straight down. Still have the, the target when you push it straight down. Okay? All right. So that, that, that next time I see it, it should look better. Okay. Can we, can we talk about the, the, the cupping thing? So when we, uh, so when we when we cup with the hands, is it is the hand is it the hand that's guiding that cupping, or is it should it be initiated from somewhere else? No, that, I mean the hands just naturally cup like this, right? But you got to think if you go straight down, you go straight down like this, right? I'm straight down. Here. I'm straight down like this. And then my hands are just forward like this. You won't, if, if you feel it like, I, I, usually it's hard to do it with, by yourself. But if you have it just in this position, the student will try to lock it. They can't lock it in place. But by turning this, this a little motion, just a little angle like this, you lock it into the shoulder, right? Usually if I'm the teacher, I help. I, I, I have them feel it, then the, how come your shoulder is going up? You have to angle this up motion this way, and then that actually locks in the shoulder from that point on. Okay. It's a small amount though, too. Don't over don't over cock it like this. This is too relaxed. This motion here, like that, that will lock it in enough. Okay. Yeah, that looks that looks better right now. Yeah, that's straight down right there. You were doing that before, right? Hell no. <laughs> I know, I'm being a dick. Don't do as I say, don't do as I do or whatever. <laughs> but right now, every one of you, I, I'm looking at the motion. That's how you do gum sal. So don't fucking forget it. Okay, that's the way I look at that. That's gum sal now. Before I'm like, I got to keep my mouth quiet. Like all these years, I was like, oh man, when's Robert going to drop this bitch? <laughs> All right, and then Chris, one thing, remember, pay attention to fingers, right? right. That tension, it's, it's almost like, you know, just a, a, like aerodynamics. You don't want to open like this, all right? To, to, like this, you want something to catch, to have the right tension. Otherwise, this is too loose when you're pushing down, down, down on that, okay? Yeah. All right, so that looks better. Everyone, yeah, Eric, much better. Don't fucking forget it. All right, great. Now, now you got that too? You got the feel. Just remember the feel. Right, because I I think I added a little more instruction this time with the gum sal, but I've talked about it before. But you should remember the feel, right? What's doing what? Where's your target? And then you got it. Okay. All right. See, that only took uh, fuck. Did that take 15 minutes to go over gum sal? What the fuck, guys? <laughs> so are we saying I really didn't miss that much then? <laughs> Next time you're fucking up emotion, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Look at it, it's like, yeah, not bad. Not bad. That's the dick, that's the dick move right there. That's the dick move. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we got gum sal, right? Uh, all the stuff I told you to watch for gum sal. So the next motion is how jump, right? From after this motion, both are lifting up, both lift up, but you're actually touching the body. And then it's, it's in this position where you're actually behind the sitting board here touching it. Okay, remember how, how jump development, right? You're feeling the shoulder push. This is forward shoulder, right? The elbow pushes down just a little, and then the shoulder pops forward like this, right? Shoulder pops forward, pop, you can pop like this. This motion is, make sure when you do this, the elbow also, both of them go like this. The elbow pushes. You know how we do jet, like the natural jet snap from here? Well, from here, this motion too. From here, I feel the shoulder push. Boom. And I'm cupping. Where the fuck is my basketball? Man, okay. All right. Uh, I'm cupping the ball in this direction. I can cup it because I'm holding it in that direction. Okay? That makes sense? So from this push, don't open up like this, right? From this push, cup. See, I'm holding, like I can hold a ball, like here. 
So that sensation is the elbow has to push, like you're pushing back, but that push backwards should leave the shoulder going forward. Both of them going forward like this. I'm exaggerating too much, right? Yeah, like that. So from here, boom, feel, boom, push. Yeah, the elbow should force that wrist to snap naturally. Just like how we always talk about jet, right? I don't snap the wrist, the right tension causes a snap. Same thing with how, uh, uh, how jump, elbow push, it causes that snap from behind and you have that cupping motion from that. You should feel the shoulders push, both of them forward like that. A little, a little, yeah, right? Yeah, good. Don't over push it. Like if you look at me, when I do this, I'm not going like this. When it feels like you're going out, right? When it feels like you're going out, it should feel like when you push, boom, you're going in, not push and going out. Push going in, shoulders going forward when you do that, okay? So from here, one, two, touching, and right here, I'm touching, actually touching. If you don't touch, you know why we don't touch? Uh, if you don't touch, because if you try to move this backwards and do it, you feel tight. It'll feel tight around the shoulder area. So from here, I brush it. I, 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 from here, I touch. See, I'm holding it here to relax the shoulder. Then the shoulder is relaxed, and then from there, I get a push. Okay, that makes sense? All right, so we got, do, do we have all that? We're okay with that? Make sure you cup it, let the elbows push it naturally to create that snap motion, inward, not outward. Shoulders should feel forward also when you do it, okay? And you don't want to move it that much. If you move it where the, uh, instead of going, if you, the, the maximum is this way, boom, right? Here I can snap it. Once I start snapping it further and I start going out, that's too much. So you got to find that right area just before you get to the opening like that. That's too much of a motion, okay? Yeah, good. Make sure you feel the shoulder and not so much the, the what's in back. Opposite motion, one down, one up, one back, one forward, okay? All right, we're good with that? Yeah. Eric, do that again. I don't see the elbows moving. Yeah, you, you're, do you, don't you feel the wrist snapping it? The, don't make the wrist snap it. The elbow should push to generate that snap. Yeah, feel, feel, just go like this first, okay? You're not sure how to do it. Don't think snap like this with the hand. Lift the elbow, feel the elbow move. Elbow move. Elbow move. And then at the last second, you feel this, like, boom. Feel the push here. So feel the elbow move, elbow move and then almost like a press on the palm with the elbow, boom, snap. Elbow move, yes, go slow, don't snap it. Go slow, 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 snap. Yeah, like that. All right, you see that? Chris, that's good. Okay, you see that? Yeah, it's a good description. I feel like I have to actually like, because uh, I know you're saying like don't go that far, right? But I'm trying to keep it close to my body, which I think is why I'm being, uh, using my, my wrists. But I feel like I can't feel my elbow until like I'm out here. Well, if you're already on the other side. Remember where you're pushing, you're pushing it backwards, right? You're pushing it this way. So once you feel here, right? You're in this motion. Don't just go like this. You're thinking snap, right? From here, when you when you're touching from the back, right? You have to un like go from that motion and then push. Yeah, like kind of rise up and then elbow push down. Yeah, yeah, that's a little bit better. Before you were just like going like this. It, it, it that's not the motion. Okay. Thanks. All right. So once we do that snap. Again, we hug, like we're putting on a, you're putting on a belt, 
and then rest it upon here, right by the belly area, about the belly button area. And notice I'm already in the, uh, I'm not, I, I don't have it fully cocked. I just come around here, just enough tension. This is too relaxed like this, this is just enough. So from this point on, I wanna do the elbow push. Elbow push, I'm focusing the target this way. Okay, I'm not thinking down this way. The target is this way, and from there, push. Right, when I feel the push, push, right, my, elbow, my chest caves in, and it's almost like this way. And then you should feel snap, the shoulder, snap, the shoulder, and then from this position, from here, same time. Okay, this is not going straight down, right? Only gum saw is going straight down. The other ones are coming at angles, like this. Okay, so when I come from here, this is straight down. I'm not going straight down. From here, forward. And then I'm cupping the ball this way too. Not like this, here. Okay, let's see. But too far out in front, Donnell. Like, yeah, when you rest it, look, I'm just rest, no, I'm not resting it here by this area. When I come around here, see? But it's actually touching, right? It's touching, not like this. It's, I'm actually touching it by this area here, and then the elbow push. Okay? Yeah. Let's see. Eric, it's, it's kind of off. Make sure you're here, you snap, right? Start right here. You're a little here, right? See the distance? The, the, basically, the, the, where, you, where you jet, touch the body here. Touch the body here. No, right here. And it, it, don't be low. Cock from up position, not even with the elbow, but here. And then you can push down. Yeah, right, right there. And you should be here. Not, not fully here, like here on the side. Well, here, then coming in. Yeah. And then the end motion, look at my, my, my wrist tension too. I'm not like this. This. Okay. Good. Boom, touch, elbow push. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Too much emphasis though, <laughs> like this. Look, I just, I just make it natural. One, touch, two, right? Touch here, boom. Touch, touch, boom, extend. That's it. Yeah. The more relaxed I am, the more natural it is for me to extend my arms. I can feel the stretch. You guys feel the stretch, right? If, if, you, if you're tight, you won't be able to stretch. See how I won't be able to stretch this way? I, I can't stretch all the way. But from here, I'm relaxed, extend. You can see I can fully, ex I fully extend that motion. If I'm tight, I go like this. It looks like this, right? Good. All right, questions on that? We okay? Good. Right. Feels shoulder. This one's side shoulder. The first one before that is front shoulder. The, the, the last one is side shoulder. Okay, and thumbs out has nothing to do with the shoulders at all. Okay? So, after this next motion, elbow, the elbow is rising. Rising, and then the elbow snap. The wrist snap. So from here, snap, snap that motion. You, you bring it up, snap. Both index fingers, the middle, or not index fingers, the middle fingers should be touching elbow to elbow, right? The wrist should be naturally turned at this position by the time you finish. And that only this is touching, not the entire hand, okay? Right, like this. So from here, snap. 
So this is Lanzau motion, and this Lanzau motion basically is what Mokausau motion also, right? We block, <laughs> block, or from here, Mokausau motion, right? All right, so very important structurally that you're looking at this, this horizontal position for Lanza. So you're looking at a box. You're creating a basically a bento box, right? And you're having that square position from you, square, right? You should play around with the height too. If it's too low, you don't feel anything. Too high, you feel double. Right about here where you can feel tension on both sides just naturally. You go too far out, you feel too much, too much of a stretch. Just the right amount where you should feel it. Okay. Now, from this motion here, we know the funds on motion. Target on opposite, right? We're opposite, not fully 180. This is 180 from nine to three, I would say slightly in front, right? Slightly in front and basically slightly tilt this way. I'll uh, uh, over exaggerate. The height wise looks like this. This is too high. This is too low. This is just the right amount, right? You, you'll have to find the balance between the two. And then the key thing to remember with this motion is once again, lead with the, the elbows kind of sink, kind of naturally just sink. And then from there, elbows push and extend. You'll feel the body open, right? Open up and then ex extend out, okay? Yeah, Chris, that looks good. Good. Now be careful, don't do, don't overdo it like this. See how my elbows are too far back and then I'm trying to push it? Look, just from here, boom. See, look, right here, not here. Okay, that's too much. Okay, you see that? In, I keep it in front. The elbows, think of it this way. You want the elbows to shoot, right? You want to shoot it from here. You don't want to shoot it from here. Otherwise, you shoot it from here on the sides, then you'll be popping it like this. You want to go from here? Push. In application, that funds out is that, where's the strike portion of it? Don't think just strike. You remember, the motion is basically open and closed motion. Oh, right. I go something like bounce out like this, and I go oh, like this. Right there, that's funzal. Okay. Funzal, funzal. Open, close. That's funzal motion too. Got it. Right. But the key thing is to remember that it's point. Elbow lead, elbow point. Elbow kind of sinks. Elbow doesn't move too far back from here. And then you feel the elbow push, right? Feel the elbow push and point. Push and point. And then this motion here, like the, a little, just, I exaggerate like this so you can see it, but just a little. See how little it is? That locks the shoulder in place. Otherwise you're just here and that's not locked in place, okay? Good, so after we point, right, point, then from here, so you feel the opening of the body. The open body expands, points out. The body contracts and the body contracts the body comes in first, elbow second, and then arms third. So from here is basically hug, right over left. And then from here, this is this is low kausal, right? Lanzao motion. This is outside kausal, lanzao motion. From outside, kau, low kau, right? So from here, open, close, right? And then, now when I do it, you see open, close, right? But in reality, when I, when I actually do an application or, or in the form, Open, close. So open, close. It's, it's such a small amount. You don't want to exaggerate too much. In the beginning, you could exaggerate just to feel like, ah, open, ah, close. Okay, that's fine. So you feel, oh, oh, then open, close. Make it natural. Okay? And that angle too. Be careful with the angle. Little angle. Both have little angles like this. They'll lock the tech, the structure in place. Because look, you remember the wrist and elbow, uh, wrist and shoulder function simultaneously. What one does affects the other, right? So when the, when the elbow goes out, this goes in, this goes in, right? How we talked about it before. And then they'll lock it into your, into your structure overall. 
you go like this, Lanza, this will collapse. Here, this, then you can use, you have to use muscle if you do it here. This one, structure, you go okay. Okay? That's why placement in the form, you need to know exactly. Right? All right, so open, close, you end up being right over left. And then next motion is the lopsaw motion, okay? The key thing with the lopsaw motion, when we do it, think circular, right? Like this, right? Circular motion. The circular motion has the elbow going out, then drop, elbow out to drop, elbow out to drop. And when this drops, it looks like it's dropping, but don't drop down. This is drop, elbow drops, circles forward, right? So when we do this, circle forward, going forward. Don't think circle down, right? Circle forward this way and a finger apart, right? This is good tension like right here. Now look, if I do my, my lopsaw like this, lopsaw, see, lopsaw. This is where lopsaw should be, like where you pray, not up here. So you remember the lopsaw position is a higher position. And then from here, my elbows go out and then my elbows sink. Right, and then from here, then, then you have the right position for the lopsaw. See, lopsaw is strongest here at this zero point technique. That doesn't mean I can't do it this way, but the zero point technique is here for me to have the maximum structural advantage from that, from that position. Okay? Snap, snap, forward. Look at my body, snap, forward. Good. Elbows, down, down. Down. Right? Key is that elbow. Elbow has to sink. Otherwise, you won't get that natural rotation from it. Yeah. Good. You got that? Sometimes your motion, Chris, when I see it, the hand tension is just a little off. The fingers are too loose. Yeah, so, so you gotta play around with it to get it to the right. Like if you see me go like this, right? You see it too, it's just too loose. Okay. I have to have the balloon even all the time. See, you remember in motion, there's no tension, right? Just the natural tension, just the move itself. But if you, within the motion, if you don't have the natural tension and then that motion stops in between, you're gonna have to react to it. But my tension is correct in between that motion. By the time you touch it, I'm automatically adjusting, right? It's not that you can't do it this way, but when the force comes in and that's the wrong tension, you're gonna fiddle around before you deal with that force. As opposed to if it's correct, boom, it already automatically adjusts. That makes sense. Okay? So that's just something you, got, you constantly have to practice, making sure the balloon, the balance of the balloon within the arm technique, actually within the whole body actually, all three structures is even, but in the, in the beginning, you focus it on the entire arm to be matching. So everything feels even when you do it, okay? okay. All right. So, lapsa motion, right? You have lapsa or jump sound, right? You have the jump sound motion from here, ingrained within that motion. The next motion is the, uh, the tanza, right? The tanza motion. The emphasis and the focus should be in, going in, right? This is not the tanza going out. This is basically the jigsaw motion snap, right? So you should feel it, boom, elbow in. Kind of, so I, I really just have enough tension to be aware of the, so the hands don't crimp up like this, but just enough tension of boom, where you feel the elbows pinch in. Just a little rotate, <clears throat> snap, right? If you feel too much, a lot of times when people do this, they feel the wrist. The wrist is not what you're trying to move. The elbow is what I want to, what I want to feel. Elbow snap in, right? Elbow snap in, snap. Bringing the hands a little up. And then from this motion, if we're okay with that, from this motion, jet. See my hands natural. And then from here, I really, I have the relax. This is too relaxed. I have just the right tension from here. And my elbows sink. Elbow sink creates a snap. Yes, yeah, move that this, boom. Yeah, that's better. See, smooth, smooth. Right, placement's perfect, smooth. Yeah, right? 
elbow pull, elbow pull. Remember body wise, exaggerated, hands going forward, elbow pull, right? Right? That's exaggerated where you feel yourself moving like this. But in reality is from here, elbow pull. It's so small you won't even see that, right? But that motion you, you feel, hands going, pulling back, body going forward. Hands going out, body going back. Just so the center of gravity is constantly moving, adjusting that state, okay? So from here, double, double tongue, and then boom, snap. And the position of it, once again, the cup. Right, you gotta be aware of the cup. You're cupping like this. The snap because the, the, the motion of the of the of the jet top position is here. Okay? Snap, snap. Okay. Now from here, be careful. Have the target in place. Everything you have target. A target is about eye level forward in front of me. And then from there, elbow shoot forward. Now, when you shoot forward, I want you to feel this. Shoot, shoot forward. You should feel from this position, you should feel it drilling. Not just from here, forward. You know what I mean? If, you're, if your attention is forward, like you feel the punch drills, right? A lot of times people do the, the, the busa, it just feels like it's lifted up. But from here, jet, forward. It's almost like here, snap, see how it's snapping out? Right, like this. Snap, right? Otherwise, a lot of people just raise it up and that's not it. Jet, snap, right? It's a finger apart also, eye level, and you should feel that drilling motion. Yeah, Eric, that looks good. Good. Yeah, good. You guys got it, that's the right idea. And technically, every every motion feels like that, like a drilling motion. But sometimes we forget, and I have to remind you guys. So a lot of times with the busao or bg motion, it feels like a lift. So just remember to drill that motion forward. So snap forward, drill. Just the natural state. If your elbow's pushing it, you'll feel the drill motion right away. Right. That's why you got to be able to make sure your elbow moves, and you're actually naturally going to drill that motion as opposed to lift. Okay, now if we're in place here, right? If we're in place here, Han jet. Han jet motion is straight, straight, straight. Fully straight right here. Then once you go below shoulder area and in between elbow area, then the elbows start to sink and then pull. All right, see from here? Sink, 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 elbow drop. Don't go like this. Then you're pulling and then the elbow hasn't done anything. Straight arm, long bridge motion, elbow pull back, right? Straight arm to elbow pull back, yeah. So in the beginning, you may want to go like this, just to feel it. Straight, 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 okay, it's straight. Then you think to yourself, elbow drop to snap. Okay, elbow drop to snap. So straight, 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 straight. Elbow drop and it creates a snap. Okay, and you remember if you go slow, try not to break up the motion. Don't go like this. Stop. Jet. You want to go slow? Go, go slow. One, two, three, slow is jet, right? But don't break up the motion too much. Yeah. Got that? So it should be smooth. If you're going five miles an hour, go five miles an hour the entire time. Don't go five, stop, and then do the rest later. Chris, that looks good. Better. Good. Natural speed, Eric. Don't 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 over overemphasize that. Just here, boom. You see? Uh, too much too much flare. Just natural, everything is just natural. Straight, 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 boom. See, look, I just do it, I don't, the two, that was too relaxed. That, that, that means that natural has to have the right tension too. Straight, 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 boom, right there. A little bit, that, that looks a little bit better, right? 
What should be the actual timing of it, or the, not the timing, but the speed? Like, um, and when we do it, like, if you were to just do it like real time, right? Would you? Is it? The, well, I, I would say drive it at the, at the speed you can handle. Right? Natural speed for me is the best. Boom. Yeah. Right? You want to go a little slower? You can go a little slower. You know, whatever you can control of that. But for me, it's like, boom. See? Straight. Okay. That's key, right? You can only go, to, if, if you even only go five miles an hour, but you do continuous slow motion and you can control it at that particular level, that's good. Then you just build it up where you, where you can handle it. Okay. okay. All right. Next, double punch motion. After the, after the hand jet, right? Hand jet again. You, you prep yourself up already. You don't go, don't go like this, right? From here you go hand jet, double punch. From here, float, float that is already positioned. You don't go here and then float. From here, get to the double punch. You're already building it up and then you extend. Extension, left over right, right over left. And notice when I do this, you should feel that motion. <sighs> right? <sighs> Exaggerated. Two, both in both middle knuckle, both sides are in the center line, right? A little bit different because one higher than the lower one, but that that extension of evenness when you push elbow push, retract elbow push retract, and then you feel that in your body too, right? When you're here, right? Just and, and the reason I emphasize that is you want to feel body motion. The legs do something, the body feels motion. If you're not at that stage, it's okay just to go like this. One, two, that's okay, right? But I'm talking about if you wanna feel it from here, I feel the body move, I feel the body stop. I feel the body move, I feel the body stop. And the legs are interjecting in between each, in, in, interjecting to help that out, okay? That's so key, that even elbow push. Don't remember, do not forget elbow push of motion. Because a lot of times I see people do this. Here. Right? Looks, it looks right, right? But here, elbow, drill. That's what you should feel. That's the reference. Drill. Drill. You should feel that drill, not one, two. Okay? Right? So the drilling motion should be the reminder in your head that you're actually elbow push, and then from here, retract, elbow push, okay? That's so key, the double hand motion seems so simple, but I'm telling you, when you take two hands touching a target, most people can't go 50-50 on both sides. They can't, they'll go, oh, like this, they can't stabilize it. The, this two hand motion, even push, even pull. Even push, even pull both sides. So next time you touch, when you roll, bottom roll, you're doing even, even, uh, even, 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 not uneven, okay? Sounds so simple, but that development is very crucial for you to get things square, okay? Also, let's emphasize this. Everyone's doing this. I see it in motion. They drill, good, drill. Okay, right, you feel that, okay? The drill motion feels okay. Now I want you to do it this way, okay? Everyone, let's do this, let's try it first. You're here, drill, drill. You feel the drill, that feels good, okay? Now, when you do the first drill, do the drill, then feel your legs, this base, feel how, if you do the push, it feels almost like you, you almost extend it out. But you wanna be like here and feel the legs support the base, boom, to lock it in place. You feel that? Yeah, like that. You guys feel that? Not just push, push. Lock, legs, lock. Help me lock my base. Help me lock my base. Yeah, like that. Don't overemphasize it, but just 
I'm just telling you that. It should feel solid when you fucking punch, right? Wall, I create a wall, boom, relax. I create a wall, solid. Yeah, you guys feel the difference or you guys focusing on that before? No, I wasn't thinking about it. Yeah, I was thinking no. more about the base, not the legs too. Yeah, it's okay. I just remind you or tell you if you forget, okay? Does that feel stronger when you do it? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it right away when you do it, Chris. That's better. Yeah, like that. Boom. Boom. Yeah, like that. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, like that. You can totally see it. You can see someone who does bass where he just goes like this. One, two. One, two. Looks okay. One, two. I'm emphasizing. One, two. I feel my legs engage. And then legs engage is just in place. Do not misinterpret it. Engagement is some kind of squeeze. The legs are not squeezing. It's just making sure my center is balanced at that time when I do it. Stabilizing it. Okay. Yeah, like that. That looks good, Eric. Okay. So we go left, body, left, right. It should feel solid. That's why the thing. A lot of times people punch and they just feel the hands. But when you punch, boom, solid, solid. Yeah. Now when you solid from here, right over left, the wrist snap. Literally let gravity take over wrist snap and straight arm. Be careful when you go down. Let's try this. Go down, right here, snap. Be careful when you do this. Don't squeeze the armpit, <laughs> right? It's that common. Squeeze. People feel really tight here on the armpit area. You got to be from here, relax, snap. Yeah, like that. That's better. Cupping motion is also the same. And then also drill in, right? The drill in motion, right? When we drill in, is not up. Don't go up. Here, shoot forward. See? Forward, not up. Wrong, wrong. Forward, right? I'm exaggerating so you can see. Forward motion. Think going forward, not up. Yeah, like that, Eric. Better. Just have your target in front. Don't think like up, up like a basketball. In front of you, go forward towards it, and your, your hands will naturally extend forward. If you think up, you're driving up. Just think target in front of you, and your hands will guide your way to that. Can I, uh, can I go back to the, to the, the, the two hands? Yeah. Uh, is there anything going on with our body to, to, to kind of uh, add more power to that? Natural power? Natural power? The, the natural power from this. The wrist has to snap to create that movement, right? But then when you do this movement, this way you're going. This way. This way. Right? See? Right. There. Oh. Uh, right? Like, like I went over exactly, kind of like, yeah, yeah. I'm pulling myself forward, right? Same that... thing, yeah. You, you just feel the motion of where you're going. Right, that's the key thing. Don't feel like this. Dude, my body is not going anywhere. I lock it in place. One, two, one, two. Because the body helps create the snapping. You can snap it because of that. And I sense that the knees are just as equally as important as when you're pushing out. Everything. You, you, the whole thing is to feel everything when you're doing that motion. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That's better. Much better. Chris, too far out. If you draw, if you draw yourself shoulder to shoulder, like this. Like here is Gumbau, right? To my side. Hanzo is here, shoulder, in front, like this. 
see the difference? Once this is gum, on in here. One, two, yeah, a little bit better. But make it smoother. That opening, you open it up like this, like a triangle. See the triangle that goes this way. And then the triangle comes back up forward, this way. The wrists are turning this way, the twist and lock. Okay? Yeah, like that, that's a better position, right? So we all know the position, right? Han is not the same position as gum, okay? Gum is fully at the side straight down. Han is within shoulder area and then front. All right? Uh, when you do Han, is it an application? Is it always long bridge or can there be any form of it in a shorter bridge? You can do a short bridge, uh, application, whatever you want. Yeah, like you see this one, we're going along and then we convert it, right? The hand, hand depth, long bridge and short bridge combined from that. Oh, yeah. Right? But usually when we have long bridge motion, you're very close up if, the, if that's occurring. Okay. Uh, I don't understand. When you're saying usually when there's long bridge motion, we're closer range. Yeah, we're closer range. Sure. sure, right? The three forms are different ranges, right? Pilum Tau, full ex you can have extension. Chum Q half, but VG body to body. So if it's long, if it's a long bridge motion, you have to be a bigger motion to clear. And you're literally close to each other. Hmm. Like, like for. For example, right, this motion is coming towards you, you're already jammed in, right? You can't do like something to shoot out. You actually have to do a motion that's big capture of that motion. Yes. You can't extend in and out. Okay? All right, any questions on the second section? All right, I, I think I went over as much as I can as far as uh, go, going over the position, placement of everything of that second section. It should look better next time I see it. When you get a chance, maybe hopefully things get back to normal next year. If you can do Silm Tao, uh, get a private with Sifu or something like that, it's good. Have him say, Sifu, look at my Silm Tao. And you, you have to be, uh, you have to initiate it and tell them, Sifu, if you see something wrong, yell at, yell at my fucking ass. Tell me, I want everything. Is this right? Is this right? Even if you have to force it. In the beginning, you might have to force it. Is this the right position? Maybe do it in the wrong position just so you adjust it. So it just feels comfortable. Because otherwise, you do sometimes, like, how is it? He's like, It'll be like, oh, it's not bad. It's okay. That doesn't help you, right? You want bitching, you want constant criticism, you want a fucking chair thrown at you. That's what you want, right? That's every, every motion you should have and you should want that fucking criticism when he, if you get that opportunity for him to correct you. Don't be like, I want to do it right so he doesn't say anything, <laughs> right? This guy's got fucking 60 years, 70 years experience. You want every fucking ounce of that. So suck in the ego and let, let them pour it on you as far as, no, that's a little off, that tension off, the stance isn't doing this. You have to do this, 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 this. If you, if you, you got him in the position where he's, he's comfortable with it, you'll spend the first gums on motion 30 minutes and he's bitching at you. That's what you want, right? Don't be like, God, I can't believe in 30 minutes we've been spending gums on. He says it's not good, <laughs> right? You should be like, fuck yeah, he fucking bitched at me for 30 minutes. Awesome. And now, you, now I understand the, how to do the gum sound. That's, that's the desire you want, okay? So hopefully if we get things back to normal, maybe you can try to do that uh, with him. It's, it's priceless, I tell you. It's priceless, okay? So we okay with that second section? Yeah, it's good, good info. All right, speak now or forever hold your peace like Robert.
I remember a long time ago with my cousin, uh, right, at the, right at the wedding, I was like, dude, you say the fucking word. You want to go? I'll fucking drive you wherever. We go to Vegas, we'll go right now. We leave right now. We leave right now. <laughs> you didn't take me up on my offer. I don't want to say I was right, but. <laughs> yeah, there's no more joy in being, I'm right, you're wrong. There's no joy. You get a certain level, you just be like, are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? <laughs> entertain me, entertain me. <laughs> All right, let's get to this third section. Are you still okay? Third section? Good. Okay, good. Yeah, I got all this energy in my peloton. <laughs> all right, so third section, right? The third section, we talk about second section development, two hands, every direction possible, even power using it. Third section, singular hand, but basically you're using continuous motions from going side, side, down, up, left, right, up, down, so forth. Right? Have you ever looked at that, what you're doing? Like when you do cow saw, for, uh, back, forward, uh, side, forward, right? You're, those, you can't generate, when you generate power, right? Like you see people go boom, boom. They can't generate power going same motion, same time. But we're going what? Side, side, up, down, left, right, right? And that's how you're generating from the home poem. Then you can generate the power. But you go one, two. There's nothing you have where he goes one, two. That's why the UFC, they have people going one, two, three, 20 punches, the guy's still alive. <laughs> one, two, then when you see that, the guy goes down. Natural power. Going one, two does, doesn't do anything. That's why that Batman scene that everyone likes, the new Batman, where he's like punching the same guy over and over again. It's like, shit, man, Batman studies martial arts for so long, he's still using the same hand three times. No wonder Joker's still fucking alive. Jesus, okay? So, <clears throat> doing this the th section, we're going Kao Sao, outside jet, Ch Chan Dai Jung. Now, Chan Jung, you can do it Kao Sao this way, all the way to the other side, outside jet here. That's up to you. But for me, I'm, I'm not, my rule is basically, I'm sticking to the rule, left side, left side, right side, right side. Okay, this is United States, this is Mexico, here's the wall. No one's crossing over, right? Even if you go cross over slightly, you come back. But from here, the, when, the motion for cow saw is a pull, right? The pull. Now be careful when you do the cow saw, you're never pulling into you like this, right? Think of a, right? Japanese, right? When you pull the, the pull, when I do the cow saw motion going forward, it's this going forward, Pulling back, and the pulling back is not straight back like this, down, slight angle down, just a little, right? Because you basically you pull into you, then it's called, uh, so <laughs> well, not that it's wrong, I'm just saying. Don't pull it into you, right? So cow saw motion, right? Be careful when you do the cow saw. A lot of times when people do the cow saw, the wrist snaps, right? People cow saw and go like this, cow. See how my elbow, my arm pulls back like this? When you pull back like this, you tighten your arm, right? Casa, tighten your arm. Casa, snap, elbow pull. See, look at the distance. See, my distance is the same. I didn't go like this, it's elbow pull, or my hand pull. Then your arm's tight, right? So when you go like this, you go forward and then elbow pull back. And then when you elbow pull back, that's just like your jet, snap. Snap and then your casa motion, right? That makes sense? So don't do those common fuck ups. That's a common fuck up. Elbow pull, flex. No, I'm not flexing. Elbow pull, pull. See my elbow pulls just like Wusao. Not elbow and then hand pull and then you, now you flex your arms. Okay? Casa, right? And then not into you, not directly into you. Slight angle, going, changing it, just so it's not directly into you. You could cast out every way possible, but not straight into you. Then you're bringing the weapon right at you at an angle. 
So from here, Kausal, staying on my side, how I do it. And then from there, I snap. The snap is not, if you try to do it with the wrist, it's hard to just do the snap, right? The elbow actually has to go in a little and that snaps and forces the wrist out. So if you look at it, you're half, you're half the perimeter of a triangle like this, right? Half the perimeter of a triangle. So I go inside the center of the triangle, Kausal motion, okay? Then I go snap again, the maximum outside of the perimeter of the triangle, right? Elbow snaps in a little, wrist snaps out, right? And then from there, notice the wrist snaps again. See how my wrist relaxes again? And then from there, Chandai Jung, and you're hitting at this part here. And another snap. Notice, uh, look at look at that you're, you're doing. You're not just going, I'm doing cow, I'm doing outside jet, and I'm doing hit. That's one. When you do back, for uh, side, back, side, forward, here, front. One, two, three, right? One, two, boom, right? Have you seen, have you seen that motion? One, two, right? One, one, two, three. You're basically doing that motion. One, two, three. Then you can generate it from here and same thing other side. Snap one, two, three, okay? Be careful, the alignment of this position is very key. When you do the Chan Zheng, right? Fingers are pointing like 10 o'clock, right? Fingers are pointing at 10 o'clock and then here. Okay, see the difference? Not like this. I shouldn't feel like I'm using, hitting him with this part of the thumb. It's actually boom, this way, right? You're hitting this part. Just think I'm gonna hit him this part area here, supported by the base of the bone, right? So sometimes people do like this or like this. This is this angle and then cupping it this way, okay? Good. Yeah, that looks better, good. Two, three. One, two, two. You might want to practice that snap, snap. You do, if you feel, if you feel the snap of the wrist, and it feels too tight, that means your elbow is not involved, right? You gotta bounce out. This wrist snap back, elbow pulls, tunk. This wrist snap out, elbow in. And then this relaxes here, snap again, tunk, chop. Good, all right? It was simple enough, it should look nice, right? From here, cow, outside jet, snap, circle. Cow, outside jet, snap. Circle, right? Hey, Eric, sometimes you go like this with your chop. Fingers up. Yeah, thumb back, thumb back, right? Fingers up, thumb back, so this is the emphasis on the chop. Yeah, like that. Sometimes I see you go like this. Uh, yeah, Let's try that again. One, two. One, two, three. I think everyone's uh, outside jet is too tight. <laughs> it feels like this. You guys look like this here. Outside jet. Whoa. Snap, 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 snap. Right? If you go slow for a feel, just feel the elbow snap. So I think sometimes you go like this and raising up. Snap. Elbow in. Elbow in to snap out. Yeah, like that, Eric. That's better. Yeah, go slow for us. Yeah, that now that's better too. Yeah, Chris, that looks better. Before you're raising it up too much. Snap, snap, put shoot. Snap, 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 yeah. Yeah, feel that, snap, snap. Elbow in, elbow in, elbow in, elbow in, yeah. Yeah, like that, that looks better. Snap, 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 circle, yeah, snap. 
And that, Eric, be careful on that chop. One, two, chop, elbow push. Yeah, that's elbow push. The last time you just went like this, that's not elbow push. Snap, elbow push, right? Elbow push, extend out, right? Yeah, good, that's better. Yeah, there, that's elbow push. Last time was choppy choppy. Don't do choppy choppy, no good. Judo chop. Judo chop, okay, we got that? Okay, quick question. Ed. I yeah. think that you do it, maybe that what helps push uh, the elbow, uh, elbow chop instead of that choppy choppy. It's like here, here, and I almost see like there's a wind up here, and then you Over there. Is that is that the right idea? So you felt your wrist naturally from here relax, and it snaps, and then you push it again. And then you feel the other chop and the other push. Yeah, that's better. Good. There you go. All right. Third, uh, second of the third section. After you do cow, outside jet, chop, right? Cow, outside jet, chop, circle. Now this next motion when you pull, right? We combine together. Hands on motion, but think elbow in from the side. Elbow in from the side. That's a key thing. You're covering the elbow in, right, from the side. Don't think tan out here, right? From the side motion to cover inside, elbow. That's key. Just be careful, do you go too far in, this goes out. Target's still center, but center from the elbow like this, right? It won't look like tan that much. This is like perfect tan. This may actually be forward more because you're going elbow in from the side, side to elbow in, okay? So from here, elbow in, and then from here also, Relax the hand, and then from here, elbow push, point. All right, don't go from here. I don't, don't cross the side over. I think a long time ago I said cross side over, and then point. But from here, relax it, and then from here, point. Point, see I stay on my side too. Elbow in, stay on my side, point. Yeah, that looks better. And Chris, be careful, you're going this way, point. The point, when, when, notice when I point, I, when I point, point, pointing straight, not off to the side. No, that's better, better, point. Yeah, like that. Still, Chris, just a little lean tendency to the left. Look, look you don't see me go like this. See, you see me focusing a little to the turn, point. I'm going straight, straight. See that? I don't have a tendency to go like this. Point, point, elbow push. Relax, elbow push, point. Point to in front of you, right? Point in front of you. Yeah. I have a question. So like if I was just to do it, like, instead of coming here and then going to the, to the Gansa, if I just wanted to shoot from here to Gansa this way, there's a drilling motion like that, right? Yeah, there, always. Everything has a drilling motion. So how do I do that when I'm going through this motion? I feel like I can't really drill from here. Like I don't have as much of a drill. You're too much. Relax and then point. You're trying to go like this. You're trying to make it turn like this. Too much. Get my motion from here. I elbow in. Point. point. Yeah, I like that. That's your your Yeah, to a, bit, a little more to the side. It's a pinch to the side. A little more, just. A little. Oh shit! Okay. Right. Yeah, like that. Not not go up to the side, but just point straight to the side, like the area here. My focus is still straight. So Chris was doing kind of like this. A little, a little to the side. I want you to here. You see me going straight. Yeah, perfect. That's it. Chris better. That's better. Now, the only thing is, Chris, when you do it, look at your elbow. Your elbow is going this way. Point. See my elbow? It has to go this way. See how it cuts at an angle, like a triangle? 
If you cut off to the side like this, windshield wiper, this one's like a triangle. See that? Yeah. Which one? Point. Is it a like gun style? Yeah, 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 but don't turn it like this. It's got to turn. The elbow should point down, feel it sinking down. This is too far out. This is too much like this. Find the in-between. Yeah, like that. That's better. Right? Have you ever done it where someone low lock chops you? Right? Low lock chops you, you're like, come, oh, gone. God. And you're like, ha, oh, push. <laughs> have you ever caught someone doing that? Most times, most people have a hard time doing that because the gods are, they fight it. But once you go with it and you catch, catch it with God, you're like, oh, yeah, bad motherfucker. <laughs> he is like old chop suey kung fu catching it when you could do that. Yeah, Chris, that's better. Okay? You got that now? But don't over exaggerate that hun, hun, hun motion. Just relax. See how I just relax it? Point. Perfect. Just like that, Eric. That's perfect. Just be careful with the elbow position, right? Look at my elbow position. This way, off. Pretty close. This way is better. Off, better. Terrible. Close. Right here. Right? So that alignment of the elbow. Yeah, like that. Okay? So afterwards, next motion here. I, I the description of basically washing, like you're washing your face in the morning, right? But when this goes up, you should feel the elbow moving in to raise it up. You know how we had the elbow going from side to side, right? You feel the elbow going up to, to splash it, to splash the hands up. So from here, elbow moves up and in to create that. Right? Does that feel different? All those should feel different. The one from here, elbows inside. This one, elbows from the side in. This one, elbows from down up, right? So you feel the different functions of the elbows that you're trying to cover. Side, block, right? In, block, right? Up, block, up, down, down, up, block, okay? And then from here, hyun. Remember the hyun, don't just do wrists. Don't do you hyun like this and this is locked. Hyun, see my elbow? Elbow assist and then elbow push. Okay, a lot of people do this. Hyun, chop, wrong, right? Hyun, elbow adjust, elbow push, and then chandai jung. Different, right? This area here, don't have like, don't be like this. Like this, chop, chop. Actually, you know what this is? You know, on TikTok, they always have the guy slapping the girl's ass. You can't slap her ass this way. You have to slap it this way. Think of it this way, cup it, okay? None of you should fucking get that wrong. If you're getting that wrong, you haven't slapped enough ass. So from here, hyun, slap that ass. Perfect, okay? Then same thing, other side, carry on. From the side, elbow in, point, elbow up. Hyun, circle, full. Slap that ass, and then that's, that's good, right? Now you won't forget, right? Because I see that all the time. People kind of jump this way. There's no way you're slapping any ass that way, okay? You slap ass this way. You got to lift it, right? You got that? All right, perfect. So slap ass, and then connect. Connect from here. Don't start shooting from the side, right? From here, notice I'm drawing my bombs out here to shoot out, right? A lot of times people shoot out and then eventually get to the side. I'm immediately going to the center, right? I'm covering one, one point right away to the center to do bomb. Right? And you remember bong, don't do this, right? Bong is out here, not like this, right? You can let everyone else, if you're in a class, everyone else is doing bong like this, let them do it this way. They'll be tired. And you can say, and you don't have to help them out. You just laugh. Like some dick I know who was doing that. But I can't remember his name. <laughs>
Wait, wait, remember who it is, I'll tell you. So from here, elbow out, right? Bangsa, okay? Bangsa, turn, right? You have to turn so you can lock it in place, right? Technically, elbow should be the highest point over shoulder and then wrist. So you can get the stretch. You want to develop the stretch of that motion. The most people are tight, they can't do this. If you're injured, then you go lower, that's okay. But if you're tight in the beginning, you keep working on it till you get the smooth motion of the bar, right? Elbow is driving to the center. Elbow is still driving and pushing out, right? You wanna feel that out motion, not like this, okay? Yeah, that looks better, Eric. Chris, good. Danielle, good, awesome. You're King Dick to be able to use it other, against other people, right? Well, if you're, you know, if you're a real dick, if you do that, because if you do it this way, right? You do bonks out this way, right? And you put a heavy stick on them, you'll just burn their shoulders. It really fucking hurts. This is just drive it into the center. And they're like this and they're like, fuck. It really fucking just burns, you know? And you'll just be, if you're relaxing, you know how to cut it in. It's like, what's wrong? Why are you so tired? And you should work out more. I don't know why you're so tired, but just jam it in there and just, just let it lock in place. And actually, if you lock it in place, you still have control of center of gravity, but you lock it here. So he carries it and can't use his body to carry it. It's even worse. It's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. Only a dick would do that. I don't, I would never do that. Just so you know. Okay. All right. So here, bong style. And then this one. I always, same description of the head for over, over, over. It's still the best one. Elbow is at the edge of the cliff. Let the elbow jump right straight down. So jump straight down. See how it goes straight down to the point where all of a sudden it can't go further down and it swings into the target, right? So it should feel like this. It shouldn't keep circular. See how it goes circle right away and then try to go tan, right? I actually want it to drop, you know? See how it drops all the way. I can't go any further. It drops all the way and then it kind of like bungees. You know how it bungees and then goes straight to the center. Yeah, be, just be careful it doesn't look like this. Drop, lift up. See yeah, how it's lifting up? Don't do that, that's not it. Drop to the target, straight to the target, not lifting up. Yeah, like that. Chris, it's still kind of circular. You're still kind of circling it. I, I want you guys to do this first. Go for it from here. From bong, drop, drop, drop. Just draw a straight line with your elbow. Drop, drop, straight line till you can't go any further to drop it. Right there. And then from here, start curving the elbow into the target. That's natural drop. All right, so think about that motion. Drop straight down. It should be a straight line. Feels like you're drawing a straight line, straight line, straight line, and then curve it in once you're max. Right? All right, Danielle, pretty good. You want me to make it better or you're okay with it? <laughs> well, hell yeah, I want to make it better. <laughs> do, your motion, do your motion again. Okay, pretty good. Look again, try again. You guys can see his motion. Pretty good. Oh, one more time. Good, okay, let's try this again. Copy with me. So you're like this and curve. Pretty good, okay? Now, from this position where your box is out, kind of, you kind of try to do this, move it just a, just a pinch to the side, like you just jumped off. Like it, the, the elbow's at the edge, right? To, so going away from you. Go a little on the edge, like that. Now, start drawing just the elbow. Don't worry about the hand. Draw straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down, good. And then from here, start curving it in. Yeah, try that. Go slow, again. No, no, go slow, no, no. Push off, push yourself off the edge. No, don't curve, you're curving a little. Right there, off the edge just a little. Now, straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down. Now start curving in. There. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now you can become a bigger dick if that's possible. On, on both ends. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's almost, almost like you're doing the, uh, a small uh, Feijang? You could. I, I, I would, I mean, it's, it's such a Light. small. Yeah. No one, move point. Don't just go here. Like if I go here and start curving in, you see how I'm doing that? And you feel tightened in, right? From here. Well, see how you're, you're locked in place? I unwind it and go off to the edge and then fall. And then I curve in. Go off the edge. Foot off. Yeah. No, no, no. Off the edge. No, you, you have a tendency to curve it right away. Off the edge. Straight down. Down, down, down. Yeah, there. Now do it. That. Then you do it. Be careful. You start curving it right away. You got to go from off the edge, like your foot off the edge, and then you plumb it straight down. Yes, like that. And then be careful of that last motion. Watch. When I go like this, straight down, straight down, and then you go like this. Straight down, straight down, forward. Elbow. Think elbow forward. Elbows curving in forward, not up. Yes, that's much, that's much better. That's a much better motion. Okay. Let's see, Chris. The left side's good. That looks better. I was doing yeah. Well. Yeah, that looks better. So I feel like my wrist right is- Right side's a little rotating right away. Right, right side, make the right side drop. Drop, drop, drop. You're you're already turning right too soon. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, then curve it in. Now Eric, be careful. When you drop it, don't let this drop along too. I know you're focusing. When you hear, drop this this drops and this lingers. Think of it that way. Right? This drops, this lingers, and then they both drop. See how they drop, but the wrist is still on top, and then you curve. Don't let this drop underneath like low bong and then you try to lift it back up. Drop, yeah. The hand should still be up. Yeah, like that, that's much better. There you go. Good, that's better, Chris, that's better. All right. I, I don't know how much video I have where I, I spent almost Couple years we just talked about doing that fucking bong saw with Sifu. These are like my older videos back in 03, 04, where we're just fucking, hey, what's, what is this motion? Is it, is it this? Is it that? And, you know, just breaking it down as far as how to fucking get this right. You know, just being bitch ass silly like to death every time. I was like, fuck, this is not, this is, this is not it. This is, this is how to be a bitch. You're a bitch for life. Right? If I can't fucking get this right, I'm your fucking bitch for life. <laughs> right? So that you just remember that. Off, foot off the edge, right? Think of the guy going right off the edge. He gets off the edge just a little, but don't force it. It's such a small amount and you feel the drop. It's dropping. This drops first. This is following, following, following. Once it's maximum area, then don't think hand up, elbow rotating in, drilling in smoothly. It's like, you know how when you catch a bungee, ah, and then boom, it's smooth, a smooth thing. Drop smooth and then towards the target. Now be careful, okay, be careful of that motion, Dono. Where's my, where's my motion from here? Drop, drop, drop. Where am I going? I'm not going here. Drop, drop, drop. Here's my target, 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 target. Right, that's a target. Good. See? Drop to target. Yeah, Chris, that looks much smoother. Good. You got it? All right. Practice it. Practice it. You know how to not to fuck it up. Okay? So from here, drop. And then from here, pow. Pow, you think forward. Right? When you go pow, look, forward and up is just this. Forward, up, turn. Right, you're drilling into that. Drilling in, pow into the center. You're jamming him in that way. Don't just lift up, that does nothing. Every motion we always say drill. So feel the elbow push. That elbow push 
will not, if you do like this, you'll feel your elbow pop. If you do like this, you'll feel your elbow drill to the center, right? But you don't have to exaggerate. You'll just naturally, if I extend out, it's already drilling. Yeah, right? Long. That's great. I forgot about that. I mean, I've never connected this, you know, even with the power side, I know it's everything drilling and smooth. You say it until you actually think about it, going, oh, yeah. No, yeah. all that shit you have to do. Yeah, that's. Okay, so we got pow sal, right, to the center. Don't think up, go forward. Forward will naturally lead you to up, okay? So this next motion, right, tui sal, shoot. This tui sal, let's do it individually. One, you're going like this, to the center, and then here you're touching, right, just touching hand, right? Don't cross over, stay on the border, right? So from here, same time, boom. And then from here, I'm running it down. This hand will do the same motion and this hand will reverse and take its place. Be careful not to open up this angle, right? Just like Ganza, you, you shoot out like this, boom, don't go out. Everyone always goes out. Even I tell them, don't go out, elbows in, right? So from here, one, two hands tur turning, see? Drill, pull, drill, pull, drill, pull. And then the touch, one pound to one pound back, one pound to one pound back, right? It matters. You want to control that, not just touch, touch. Touch evenly, touch, 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 touch. Why are you doing this even? Because when, I, when you replace it, Indiana Jones style, right? Someone's touching here. When I replace five pounds, I want to touch five pounds. One to one, five. So this motion pulling back gives me one pound, this motion pulling forward gives me one pound going the same way. So I'm touching just enough. One, two, three. All right. Touch, touch, drill. Touch and drill. Touch and drill. Touch and drill. Touch, drill. The drilling is not only this way, drilling back, drilling back, drilling back, drilling back. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, nice and one, two, three. So one, two, three, punch, 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 circle, close, blah. Right? It should be a very fucking beautiful Suam Tao. Any questions on that? It's a lot of good detail. Yeah, my brain feels full. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real good, real good. Chris, do you want a blowjob for that video? You do, you got it. <laughs> has, has, it, has it come I to think that? He's offering. I think he's offering. <laughs> no, no, I don't have to get on my knees. That's it. All right, so we know all the little details as far as how to make this look pretty, what it should do, where it should be, how it should feel. So you got to practice it. And then there's nothing wrong. Like I said, sectionalizing shit and just doing like a twist out one, two, three, over and over. You, might, you may be fucking up and going, oh, fuck, elbows out, fuck, come on, elbows in. Elbow in, elbow in. One pound to one pound. One pound to one pound, elbow in, right? I'm working on one section over and over. You say one pound to one pound. What pound are you talking about? Like the, the, the touch? The touch? That's touch. There's enough. If you're, if you're doing five pounds, okay, five pounds, the other side, you can pull back five pounds. Too. If I'm doing just enough to touch hair, just enough to touch hair. Okay. okay, we don't want to go one, three, five, one, one, whatever. One even motion, right? Even motion throughout. Even, okay? I get work sections. Open, close, fuck. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, tight, close. Yeah, you, you just work on this like, uh, that's too tight. Why, why do I do it tight? 
What, what do I do to improve it? Let's work on that section to finish it, to make it look pretty. <laughs> Natural. Okay. What can you, if you were teaching beginners uh, students out, wouldn't that be a good way to do it? Sectionalize it and just have them do it over and over again? And would it be better just to revisit just, it? Give them the form first. Have them the form first. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, it's too much sectionalized. If, if, if he shows an interest in doing the same time, I go, okay, practice it this way. Then you can sectionalize it. If he quits by that time, then I can even it. <laughs> well, thank you very much. This is this is really good today. Like, it, okay. All right. <laughs> exactly. You guys got tired. There's a lot more we could go into. But okay. No, I'm never <laughs> tired. It just, it's like Eric said. You hit my head. It literally almost feels like full. Like the, the ideas that are in there now. They're in there, like more than they were at the start of class. All right, good. Well, practice, that's the key thing. Practice, think what you practice. Even you're not practicing, think, right? Don't, don't be just like, oh, I got to do a book. Sometimes I'm thinking, why is that? How come I do this? Just thinking about it is good. I, I, I can't tell you, like, a lot of times when I do think about it. I, I think I think it. I don't necessarily have to have the solution for it. Just think. I let it think. I gotta let it think in quiet, and then it can solve itself. Okay. Yeah, that definitely happens with a lot of things. You can not understand them at first, and then meditate on it, sleep on it, think on it. Yeah. And eventually, an answer comes. It will. It will answer. What your mind controls so much. You think shitty thoughts. That's why you're not hanging out with me. <laughs> Damn. Well, it's true. I, I, it's, I don't know why it always cracks me up, but they go, well, don't you have a friend who's like this and yada, yada, yada? I was like, no, because I never attract those kind of people. <laughs> I don't know if you experienced the same thing, but I never had that issue. Yeah, I can't believe it. my friend's like this and he's so bummed out. Yada, yada. I, I don't know. Every so often you have some a little issue. That's natural, but for the most part, I never have any of those problems. I, my energy, I, I feel, is good. I only attract good. I was like, I was like, oh, you ever have that guy, uh, that camera? I was like, no, I, I don't. But you should tell me about it so I have some something interesting to 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 know about. <laughs> In time, you'll understand. You'll, in time, you'll understand. In, in theory, it sounds simple, but the, do not underestimate how powerful your mind is. Right? So don't be afraid to let it dream. Right? Don't let, be afraid to let it dream. That's, it's very good. The limitation is what you put yourself into. Don't be like that. Right? Well, you guys are all uh, freaking... Uh, whiplash bitches. So you should be able to get to that point someday. So we like chairs right. thrown at us. Good. All right, guys. <laughs> That's your block. Holy shit. You should be like, you should be like a, going into me with the, with the chairs didn't do you looking into the chair. Instead, you're like this. Oh, long way to go, Donnell. Long way. <laughs> All right, guys. Awesome. Later. Thanks.